All right, the shirts could have used that footage from the tournament. Yeah, the one you had on the GoPro. Already, good looking out. Bet. What up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Dream of Shank. Today we're finna try out the new Belgium Buddha Ranger Imperial IPA. Let's get to it. Got a couple minutes, don't take a seat. Sit back, relax, take a drink with me. I'm trying not to drinks. I tell you what I think. The things you can expect when you wash and drink with Shane. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it all the way real with y'all guys. I just really want y'all to see the back of the jacket. Pretty fresh, right? So it's a uh, Novello, as you can see. The fighting spirit. Got the little texture right there. The star on the Austin spot. Got the 2021, got the Sender logo, that's a clothing company out of Boston, Texas, there goes the ATX, got the Modelo logo down there. Uh, I actually won this jacket in a sweepstakes, it came with the hat, and it came with a, another shirt. Y'all probably saw that shirt on the Edward Forty Hands episode. That's episode 11, if you haven't already checked it out, go back and peek that. And I want to give a big shout out to the homie Lewis. He's the one that told me I should try this beer. The new Belgium Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. A rare blend of choice hops creates an explosion of fresh cut pine and citrus flavors for a complex, rich, and delicious finish. So as some of y'all may know, IPAs are a bit on the stronger side. This one right here is sitting at 9 ABV. Imperial India Pale L. Sheesh, nine. Let's uh, see what it's talking about. Catching the citrus flavors right away. This is a great tasting beer. I can't remember the name of the first IPA I've ever had. I do remember thinking, because of the high ABV, I don't know if it's either my palate evolved or I've just put the tolerance. It doesn't feel as bitter as I remember. Obviously, it could have been a completely different IPA with a completely different taste, and that might just be it. Maybe this is a really good IPA, but it's not bitter. I don't, I don't taste the bitterness to it. I, I uh, catch those hints of citrus. I guess that's the pine I'm tasting. Smooth, it's refreshing. It's obviously on the heavier side. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm gonna give it a strong four out of five. It's pretty good. Can't remember how much I paid for this. It was a little bit on the pricey side, but everything's pricey right about now, am I right? So usually if I spot either a cool looking package or just a beer in general that I catch my attention, I'll grab it and say, hey, I'm ready for an episode of this, right? But I really do appreciate when y'all leave comments saying to try this beer or try that beer. I'll do my very best to go out and find that and uh, upload it whenever I can. I started this back in 2020. I appreciate everybody following along for the ride and let me know what y'all want me to try out. Since I got y'all guys here already, I'm going to share some with y'all, a little bit of my history. For those of y'all that don't know, I used to be an active dodgeball player. I still play here and there, not as much as I used to. And I'm going to share this video with y'all guys of me back in the day. <laughs> this is uh, 2019, I believe, when I was at the peak of my dodgeball career. I hope you guys enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy playing. Until next time, cheers. Alright guys, so this was an elimination, best of three, that's me right there on the right side, four, now we had won the first round, the opposing team got the second round, this was the third round, Let's see who won the actual game. Okay, that was the 
recording this, I actually had a GoPro on his head. That's why the camera's moving around like it is. That's some pretty good footage though. I'm glad they got it. This is one of the best things I've ever had. Boom! Headshot <laughs> with my first kill. Put the kill count on the top left side it's of the high, screen. But I mean, it's so heavy up here. Got that I second kill. There he goes, walking out to court. Almost got him right there. Got my third kill. Keep in mind that at this point it's three of them versus two of us. I got my full kill right there on the left side of the screen. We got it down to two on two. They got a catch. So now they bring one person in and the person that threw on my side, they're out. So now it's, it goes from being three on two to a three on one. And the last one in. Good block. That's the strategy, but I keep dodging and blocking. Shank with the shank. Going for the kill. Hey, y'all got three! Y'all got three! So there's that reach for the ball and he was not an active player, which means all the balls go to my side. I get all balls because they had outside interference. That's another kill. Two on one. Now this guy Nick, man, he's a great catcher. And everybody knows it. Got him on the pump fake. They thought he got it, but he dropped it. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. She blocks it. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, there is a no-blocking rule, so I automatically get that win. So there it is, guys. My best game with seven kills. And luckily, they got it on tape.